Hey guys, so it's... What day is it? Sunday? Maybe. It is Sunday evening. 3 past 11 p.m. Um, and I am trying to madly find somewhere to go galloping tomorrow for Sandy because I need to do some interval training. Um, I hadn't quite realised what day it was to be honest and I thought I was eventing on Saturday just because in default my brain just thinks that I'm eventing on the weekend but actually I'm, a week I'm eventing on Friday. I need to go galloping before Friday because he's then doing a one star afterwards so he needs to go this week and he can't go on Wednesday because he's show jumping um, training can't go on Thursday because that's the day before Aston and you can't go Tuesday because that's the day before our show jumping lesson so we'll be too tired and he'll going out two days in a row will be too stressful for him because um, stuff like that just does kind of stress him out a little bit and I don't like taking him out two days in a row so we are going to have to go tomorrow and I only decided this and worked this out like an hour ago um, so I'm really madly searching for somewhere to go to Gallops um, but obviously no one's replying because it's 11pm, so all horsey people are in bed. All sane people are in bed and asleep at 11pm on a Sunday. Um, so hopefully we'll get to go. Obviously I don't know at this point. You'll probably find out in a few minutes if I'll go, because it'll be in the rest of this vlog. But... I'm going to do some serious internet stalking now to try and find some lots of options of gallops in case some of them can't do it. At the moment I think we're going to Lingfield but we haven't even contacted them. It's stressful. <laughs> Please excuse the t-shirt by the way. Um, yes it says pub crawl but it was from years ago and I don't drink really. I don't drink. and. It's actually my fiance's and I just like it because it's really big and comfy and I like big comfy t-shirts so let's ignore that. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is current, it's the day after I last vlogged. It Oh, my radio's on. Um, it is 6.33 in the morning, um, and I'm at the yard, I've just arrived. We are, I'd managed to book a gallops, um, which is in Mark Cross, it's about an hour away. So we are leaving the yard with Sandy and his little buddy, Paddy, um, who he's gonna chase because he needs to learn how to like really go, and Paddy is very, very fast. And I'm gonna go and grab Sandy in now and feed him and then I'm gonna rest out in and put the others out that need to go out and then hopefully I'll get it all done in time to leave at 7.30 so I'll keep you updated. <laughs> at the gallop. This is Mr. Sandy, he's looking really excited and we have Paddy and Rosheen over there, they're being our leads because Paddy is very very fast. Sandy's very very slow so hopefully Paddy will speed Sandy up there. Rosheen's excited. You're excited? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs>
Oh, I forgot about that one. So we are back at the yard now, we're back from galloping. Um, Sandy and Paddy were so good. Um, the reason we went was to prepare for Sandy's first one star, which is not this week but next week, um, and to try and get him fit enough, even though it's so hot. But anyway, I, I usually do loads of fitness work at home because it's been so hard I just haven't had the chance to properly give him gallop interval training. Um, so yeah, and another big reason for going was because when he's going cross country he does find it quite difficult to really open out his stride and gallop, like really gallop, um, and it's always kind of me pushing him rather than him wanting to go fast, and like obviously he wants to go but he just wants to go at a leisurely pace, which is great, um, and it's actually the pace that I prefer but not so good when you're getting 20 time faults every single time. I'm a bit of a granny cross country. Anyway, so he went to chase Paddy, who is Roisin's wonderful little Connemara, who has very speedy legs. Um, so, so speedy, but he's a really, he was really good to take because he's a similar fitness level to Sandy, because Roisin does tons and tons of hacking and just rides him a lot, um, so he's quite fit as well. So, and it really did work. Sandy did really chase him, and it's the fastest I've ever gone on him by far. Um, and the fastest he's actually wanted to take me however on the last we did we did it three times so we and we trotted down every time to keep the heart rate up um it was a, it's like a mile long track i think um maybe that might not be wrong no i don't know it's that the mile sounds very far the first time we walked around a lot and then we trotted down to the end of the gallops turned around, trotted halfway, and then cantered, like, we did like a show jumpers canter up the hill on the way back. We galloped from halfway the second time, and the third time we galloped the whole way. He loves jumping, he's just not that motivated to gallop properly, so we'll figure that out. Anyway, so he's very, very good today. We then iced their legs and put lots of cool gel on, um, and then we headed home. I'm going to go and put some apples in Sandy's water because he didn't drink very much at all there and I'm mucking out the mucking out that I needed to do this morning that I couldn't do because we had to go to the gallops it took a really long time to get back but I will be taking Sandy down to the river to cold I say cold hose his legs it's just the best place for him when I've done hard work on him he goes in there probably about three times a week um he goes in there every time he jumps every time he canters on hard ground or goes for a really long hack every time he cross country schools every time he gallops like he's in there a lot um but it's constant cold running water and it goes all the way up to his hock so it's absolutely perfect and I've seen an absolutely huge difference in his legs and it's actually really helped my ankle as well. If you're not familiar with me and my story I broke my ankle very badly last year and I'm awaiting surgery on it again at the end of this year so that's an ongoing issue. Standing in the river three times a week is definitely helping it. Anyway I've been talking for way too long and I need to get back to mucking out. I've only got one left to do but I need to go and do it. Um, and then I need to, oh, apples in the water, right, gotcha, let's go.
Hey guys, so it is now half past ten in the evening. Um, it's because we were hanging around to turn the horses out because it was 31 degrees until like 8 o'clock or something stupid like that. Um, so we had waited until it was like 24 degrees which is just a bit more, just not as lethal for the horses. Um, but they're all out now, everything's marked out, the yard's all finished, everything's spotless because I'm supposed to do like that. Why is that like me? Luna, Luna's my dog and she does this, she just stares at random things and it really freaks me out because I can't see what she's looking at. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because it's half ten um, and I will edit it now. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up, um, give it a comment if you're feeling extra kind to um, and check me out on other social media platforms that would also be fab see you guys later bye